Welcome to our online. Here we're going to talk about the, the absolute value symbol or the absolute value sign. And it turns out that the absolute value sign is defined by two parallel vertical lines. And whatever you put inside will be turned positive. We take the positive value of whatever you place inside. But in other words, the absolute value of any number is always positive. But this is where it gets a little bit tricky because there's different representations that even though we may end up with a negative result, that doesn't violate this condition that this is always true. For example, if we take the absolute value of the number 3, we get a positive value, the number 3. If we take the absolute value of negative 3, we still get the positive value of 3. So it doesn't matter if you place a 3 or a negative 3 between the two vertical lines, the absolute value sign, you end up with a positive value, which makes this statement true. The absolute value of any number is always positive. But then when you place a negative sign in front of that, and you take the absolute value of 3, well, the absolute value of 3 is 3, but then with a negative in front of it, it becomes negative 3. And when you place a negative sign in front of the absolute value of negative 3, we already know that the absolute value of negative 3 over here is equal to 3, but then when we place a negative sign in front of it, we get negative 3 again. This is what makes absolute value signs a little bit tricky, so we have to be careful. We always want to take care of what's inside the absolute value signs first, and then if there's negative signs in front of it, then we have to deal with it afterwards. So here we have some example exercises. Let's say we have this statement right here. What is the result of that? Well, first of all, the negative times a negative number makes out a positive 5. So this cannot be written as a negative of the absolute value of the positive number 5 because a negative of a negative gives me a positive or a negative multiplied times a negative gives me a positive. The absolute value of a positive 5 is indeed a positive 5, but then because the negative sign in front of it, this is equal to a negative 5. Same over here. Notice that we have negative of a negative of a negative, three negatives multiplied together, that gives me a negative number. So this can be written as the negative of the absolute value of a negative 3. So what's inside the parentheses or inside the absolute value signs here, this amount right here is indeed a negative 3. But now we take the absolute value sign of that, or the absolute value of negative 3. Well, the absolute value of negative 3 is a positive 3. So that gives us negative of a positive 3, which of course is a negative 3. This negative in front, just like before, gives us a negative 3 as an end result. But what's inside here, when we take the absolute value of that, does indeed give us, give us a positive 3. When we get something like this, we should work out what's inside the absolute value signs first. So here we get 2 minus 7, that is equal to negative 5. But we still have the absolute value signs around the negative 5, which means that makes that a positive value. If we have 7 minus 2, well, that would be the absolute value of 5, and the absolute, val the absolute value of 5 is still 5. So this is what absolute value signs typically do for you. You take the absolute value of an operation, and it doesn't matter if you get a negative result or a positive result, the absolute value always gives you a positive result. What if we have something like this? Well, again, you work this out separately, so the absolute value of a negative 3 is equal to a positive 3. We then subtract from that the result of taking the absolute value of a negative 9. And the absolute value of a negative 9 is a positive 9, so we're going to subtract the positive 9, which is minus 9, and 3 minus 9 is equal to a negative 6. So even though we have absolute value signs right there, and we take the absolute value of two negative numbers, giving us positive numbers, when we subtract the positive 9 from a positive 3, we still end up with a negative result. So again, that is why we sometimes have to be careful when we deal with absolute value signs and applying the absolute value uh, notation, because we could still end up with a negative number, so we have to be very careful about it. And on the next video, we're going to show you some really interesting thing that always catches a lot of people by surprise. When we take the absolute value of something, we end up with a negative result. Well, stay tuned. We'll show you how that works on the next video.